Okay, shading a standing cylinder shape. Um, again, I'm going to start with the um, cast shadow, which I've constructed through the central axis, light direction, light angle, and an ellipse with a horizontal major axis, and it has the roundness of the ground surface. Um, the ellipse there. So I'll just start by finding an edge here, something to sketch into, and I'm going to find, take the chisel edge, and I'm going to do this movement, I'm trying to stay inside my ellipse. So let's go a bit more. Try to get your outside edges nice and smooth. And um, if there's a little bit of light or a bit of an open edge here, then that's that's okay. Um, okay. Um, make sure this edge is nice and round here. Keep your elliptic shape, and then maybe you could even clean up that edge here with a darker line. Okay, so that's the um, cast shadow. Now for the form shadow. Um, now, if the light's coming from here. Opposite that light will be your center light, so that'll be the lightest part. Um, and I'm going to move it just up a little bit because I want to see a little bit of a gradient and edge on this with gray. So um, I'm going to start with my lightest gray and I'm just going to start by defining this edge a little bit more. So I've got something to sketch up into. Um, and then I'm going to draw a thin line here in with my lightest gray tint, which is an N2. Okay, so assuming that my center light is here, um, let's just put a few stri stripes here, and then um, I'm going to color across this way. I'm not going to change tints until I get past the halfway line. And as we can see, the shadow, the real shadow is going to start here. So what I want to do is I want to create a gradient and about there I'm going to switch to a darker Gray tint, so let's just start with one tint darker to start with. So this is now my shadow side. Um, so that should help give it form, but what we also need to draw a sketch is not just the shadow side, but also um, a core shadow, and that will be a little bit darker than your darkest, than your shadow. Um, that comes, that's partly because reflected light will push your shadow a little bit in this way, and um, usually your core shadow is close to the division with the, um, with the light side which is here. So what I'm going to do is I'll just put it a little bit back here and, um, and it's just one tint darker. So I'm 
just a little bit farther back maybe but Go over a few times so you can get a few more gradients, a deeper, richer gradient. Um, and then you probably want to want to darken this a bit so it's it's all in the shadow tint. Um, I'll go back over with the two to create a more even gradient. So this way I'm getting a nice smooth gradient from dark to light. And see here it's a little bit flat still, so I might want to just put a little bit more color in. You can see I'm getting a bit, I'm getting some tonal difference just with one gray tint um, by going over it a few times. Um, I might just use a little bit of mark on that back edge. Um, and maybe just a little radius here, a bit darker. Okay, so that's how to shade a cylinder form.